So you have some wrist pain and you still want to work out. Well, here's an exercise workout program I created to help you with that. Uh, you can see that I'm wearing the gangster wraps. Uh, no, Mark Bell did not sponsor this, but they are helping me a lot, keep my wrist stable and it's allowing me to do exercises. So that might work for you. My wrist injury is hand abduction and that's what's bothering me. So this kind of locks me in place a little more. It's been helping me and they'll help you. And we have four exercises in the workout today, and we're going to demo all of them and give you some points of performance. So these are kneeling squats. I'm using a dip belt. Uh, it's Rogue's dip belt, in case you want to, which I'm using. And the way it works, you basically put it on your waist, you attach your thighs. Typically, I recommend 20 to 30 reps. It gets glutes on top and then quads to slow you down. Do, you know, about 30, maybe even 40 reps with it. If you're squatting close to 300, maybe think 80 to 100 pounds cable resistance for your weights. So the next exercise are is hamstring curls with the furniture movers. I like these big five inch ones, they're easier to manage. So you just put your heels on here. I have a dumbbell behind you, behind me. That's optional, but I find it helps a lot with bracing. So you basically lift your butt up and then we bring both heels together and push out, keeping the butt elevated. It's a great correctional exercise for the hamstrings. And if you're working on an injury like I am with my wrist, doing a little corrective exercises in the other places is a great time to get that work in since I can't do some of my favorite exercises to my wrist heels. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do a wall squat with dumbbells. The dumbbells themselves are going to be difficult on my wrist and there's some techniques that you can use to make it easier so it doesn't bother you. Every wrist injury is different, so make sure it's not causing any stress on your wrist. So the first thing you have to do is get into the wall squat position. So the position where a ball is right in our pelvis like this is where you start. Then you basically turn around. And so the, belt, the ball is kind of centered on my coccyx in the back where my belt would be. With my weak hand, I'm going to get this one loaded first, which is where it bothers me. So I'm going to choose my good hand brace, pull all the way up, and then I'm able to hold here without any pain, so this is the way I'm going to hold it. I could also hold it on the bottom, and then I'm just going to come down on the other side, curl that one up, and I have a wall squat. This one's good for me. It might still bother your wrist. Another modification might be to do a front squat position, and here we're just pushing aside to kind of create our, our squatting position. So I'm not really resting, I'm just pushing on the edges of the dumbbell. And now I have a front squat. If the exercise irritates your wrist, you have to change the positioning of what you're holding because irritation is a sign you're doing something wrong when you have that injury. And that's the Swiss ball squat. Another great thing to do when you have an injury is a cardio type of equipment like our spin bike here. But since I'm doing it with strength training, I don't want to sit here at like cruise level. So I want to, you know, increase my resistance and kind of increase my speed. So that two minutes is really hard. Like heart rate should be 160, 180, non-sustainable, like a 400 meter dash difficulty. And that is the same energy system that our weight training works. And so these work cumulatively and this builds a lot of quadriceps as well as hamstrings. Thanks for joining us. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any other injuries and need some workouts, hit us up on Instagram. Thanks.